Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another tutorial from PinnaclestudioPro.com. That's right, it's me, your boy Malik. And I'm holding it down one more time, bringing you that Pinnacle Studio goodness you all love. Before we get started on our topic for the day, I wanted to talk to you about a little jewel I found. Pinnacle Studio 19 Plus and Ultimate Revealed by the man who I like to call the guru, Jeff Naylor. This book is chock full of information that will help you learn how to use Pinnacle Studio 19 Plus and Ultimate. Now, we all know it doesn't come with a manual. This right here is the manual, baby. If you wanna know how to use the program, you gotta get this book. Not only does this book help you learn how to use Pinnacle Studio 19 Plus and Ultimate, it also gives you a bunch of tips and tricks on video editing. So no matter what, you're going to get a lot out of this book. It's available on Amazon.com and I will have a link down in the description so that you guys can all jump on it, pick it up, and help you make better videos with Pinnacle Studio 19 Plus and Ultimate. Now that we're done with that, let's get into the topic for the day. Today we're talking project bins. I'm gonna show you how to use them, how to get familiar with them, and then you'll be off and running using those project bins in no time. Let's get into it. All right, my Pinnacle Studio peeps, let's get to talking about these project bins. You can access the project bins under the Organize tab. And you can see it up here at the top. Or you can even access it by going to the Edit or the Author tab. If you click on the Navigation Flyout, it'll pop out and you can check it out. So if I click on the actual project bin name, it'll open up that project bin. And you will see that the tab here matches the color that you have here for the project bin section, just like all the others do. If you click on another tab, it'll match that color. So you know what kind of media you're dealing with in Pinnacle Studio. That's pretty nice. Here you can see all of the media that's in the project bin that I have open for the multicam. Now the number to the right of the project bin tells you how many uh, media files or assets you have in that project bin. So let's start this whole thingy off by creating a new movie. So if we do file new movie, we know we started all over and everything is fresh, but also what we can do is we can go ahead and give our movie a name right up front so that we know uh, how to save this project later on. So we do file, save movie as, and we can just call this project bin tutorial. And so now what we can do is we can create a project bin that has the same name as the movie file that we just saved so that we know we're matching them up. So we click on this uh, project bin icon or this little box icon and we can create a new project bin. So now that we got this new project bin set up, we can start dropping all kinds of media into it. Anything that we want. Um, it could be audio, it could be video, photos, any type of media asset. So you can do that by clicking on the quick import button up here, or you can right click and do quick import. Doesn't really matter which way you do it. You got both of those options at your disposal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the quick import button up here. And so now I can go to or browse to wherever I want on my computer and grab the videos I want. So 
So now that I got all of the media in here that I want to use, I know that I have a save project bin. And also when I save this movie again, whatever I have down in the timeline and stuff, all of the assets that I used in that timeline will be in this project bin. So this is the way that most like professional editors work or professional editing applications work. So it's just really cool that this project bin feature is now included in here. And also there's some other options up here. If I want to, let's say I didn't want to see the photos. I can hide all the photos. I can show the photos. Uh, same thing for the audio. I can hide to show the audio. I can hide to show the video and my project file. Once I save that, I can save that in here too. If I want to, so that I have everything that I'm using in one place and I can actually hide or show the project files if I wish to do so from right there. Now, all of your assets are in one place. You can get to them easy and you won't have to make a face like I'm making in the preview window. All right, guys, if you like the content that I'm bringing to you, click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Leave me those comments. You know I love comments and I always get back with you. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last, but definitely not least, subscribe. All right. If you want to see Pinnacle Studio goodness like this on a regular basis, you got to subscribe so that you know when I'm uploading a video. If you don't subscribe, you're going to miss out. And that's a no-no, baby. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.